Well, with the advancements in optics over the last few years, we've seen a lot of folks move into these low power variable optics. The one to six, one to eight, one to 10 variants and eliminating the red dots, the secondary dots, the secondary optics from their gun. Today, we're gonna to talk a little bit about why to keep both, where they make most sense when you're in the field and how I use them when I'm hunting, shooting competition, or even in a defensive scenario for that matter. So anytime I'm out, let's say I'm in the field uh, doing a coyote hunt, something like that, maybe I've got my call out at 100 yards and I've got my scope set up at like 5X so that I've got some good magnification. I'm taking advantage of the technology on the gun. So if I'm up on target, uh, looking at about 100 yards and coyote comes up from behind me, runs up, last thing I wanna have to do is grab my scope and be cranking on the mag ring to uh, dial it back down to 1X so I can get that shot. When I've got an offset dot, I can simply roll the gun and I'm in the game. Competition, it's very similar. If I wanna shoot something precise far away and then I wanna roll the gun for all the up close stuff, it just works out great. And so even though the scope can truly do all things, having a red dot, a redundant red dot on the gun for shooting that close stuff makes a lot of sense when you're in the field.